In this video, we will be looking at how we can design programs that associate objects of different classes to each other. So the first class here that we will be looking at is this driver class. So in overall, there is a, if you see here, there is a, a driver class, and then there is a car class, and then there is the car tester class. So I'm going to use all of these three to demonstrate today's concept. So the driver is, uh, is a, actually a car, sorry, is associated with the driver, and then we will be testing the, the other two in the file in the middle. So let's just begin with the driver class. So the driver has got two attributes, the name attribute, which is a string, and then the, the age attribute, which is an integer. And then this is a constructor for, for the driver class. Let me just write here, constructor, constructor for the driver class. And it's an overrated constructor, as you can see. So it takes the name and, and the age of the driver, and then it sets the tool using the, the setters, which have been defined here, set the name, and then there is also set age. And then here, these are the getters, so maybe I should write a comment here. So setters and getters, getters there. Uh, and then here at the bottom, we have the, the to string method, which is, I can write override. I'm, I'm writing override for this one because every class extends the, the object class in Java and it, that class has got the to string method. So we are overriding a method that already exists. So in the to string method of the driver class, we just print, we just return actually name and then concatenate with the name of the driver and then age and then concatenate, sorry, with the name, with the age of the driver. So it's, it's basically a simple class, two attributes, one overloaded constructor, setters and getters, and the to string method, nothing more. And then when we come to the car class, and then this car class now has got three attributes. So the, the, the first attribute being the make, which is a string, and then the integer year, the year which the car was made. I can write, I can just write here the year in which in which the car was made, like that, and then the driver. So it has a, a name and then the year and then the driver. If you notice here, we are using a user defined type. So here the string, string is a type defined in Java, int is a type defined in Java. And then here we write driver, driver. So this is an object that has been defined by the user, which is us in this case. The reason it's not giving you any errors is because there exists this file, the driver class in the same direction as this one. So we, we can define an object and associate it with the car. So what happens is that the driver is part of the car in our case. So the driver is contained inside the car class, which makes the driver to be part of the car according to this program. And then here we have a default constructor, default, sorry about the spelling default constructor. And then after the default constructor, we have the overloaded constructor. As you can see that all the attributes are private there. Um, it's, it's a good practice, even the same applies to the driver class. I made the, the attributes to be private. It's a good practice in, in software engineering, especially uh, Java allows this feature in, in a much more better way, and it's, it's known and appreciated for, for encapsulation, which is an, a concept associated with information hiding between objects. Mm, coming back to where we were, so this is a, an overloaded constructor, this is a car for the car class, and it takes a string, make, and then integer, the year of the car's manufacture, and then the driver is an object. So I've got this three set tiles, set the make, set the year, and then set the driver. And then these are the getters and the setters, as you can see, that, that is all that is happening. 
And then coming to the last part is the two string method of the car class. So as you can see, the two string method of the two car class, of sorry, of the car class has return and then make, the make and then year, and then it writes, it returns, it writes the year and then driven by and then driver the two string. As you can notice here, we say in driver the two string is because the driver attribute is actually an object as defined here. You see the driver belongs to a class and this driver class has its own two string method. You see, we are in the driver class now, we're in the driver class. You see it has its own two string method. So for that reason, coming back to the car class now, we are able to do something like this, drive out the two string. So this gives us a two string representation of the, of the, of the driver, sorry. And then now coming to the testing part. So this is now our main method. I've defined first two driver objects. Let me just say, create driver object. I know this is associated with human beings, but we just call it objects in programming. We don't care whether it breeds or it doesn't breed. So I've got two driver objects here, which are representations of, of actual human beings with a name and the age. So using the constructor of the driver, I've been able to create two driver objects and name the first one driver one and the second one driver two. So now what I'm doing here, creating, create now car object, object and associate them, them with the drivers. Sorry, the spelling is wrong, yes. So that is it. So now you see in these three car objects, the first car has got its make and the year and then the driver. You see now we are giving this, we are supplying this attributes as a driver object. This is not a string, it's a driver object, it's actually this one. If I just highlight this, you should be able to highlight, you see, it's this object, this object there. So now the car has a driver in it. As part of the car, we have the driver. So the driver is associated with the car or the car is associated with the driver. Mm, so basically I've got three car objects and uh, the, the second car object has, is associated with driver one and the third car object is associated with driver two. Let's test this. To test this in, in a much easier way, we'll, do the, we'll use the to string of the of the car objects. So we can do a system system dot out dot print line. And then we say car one dot to string. We want to see if car one is associated with driver one. If it's associated, we will be able to tell through the to string method. Okay. As you can see here, sorry, let me just pull up this. Back to the console. Yes. So this, as you can see, if you say system that other print line car one to string, so we're giving it to string representation of of the car one object. This is what we get. It's Mercedes Benz GLB, which is what we see here. EA twenty twenty, which is what we see here. Driven by. Now we're expecting the driver. So the driver is Mosa with H thirty eight. And that's driver one here. And as you can see here, that's driver one. You see, that's how the, the, the object associates with each other. Let me just do this for driver, for card three as well. For card three, this is car one and then card three. So now card three has the make BMW X6, year 2020 driven by Leon H49. If you look at this, the car tree is driver two as its object uh, that's associated with. So the driver two has these attributes, attribute value, sorry, Leon with the age 49. So that is how it, it's, it's working. So this is the two string method part of the driver, which has been combined or concatenated with the two string 
of the car class just to produce one string as, as an output. This is where it's 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 defined. So there it is make, make, yeah, yeah, driven by driver dot to string. So the driver dot to string returns this and we put it in, in the in the square brackets. So basically that that is that is how object association works with, with uh, different objects when, when they're being used together. In our next video, we will be looking at how you can get the values that you want to put here during the runtime of the program instead of just hard coding it like we've done here. We've already written the names and all that. So in our next video, we want to run the program and actually ask for those values from the user and also create the objects during the runtime of the program and also create the association among the objects during the runtime of the program and also be able to check how many cars are driven by a certain driver, maybe say driver one using their name. We want to be able to check from a collection of cars and see which cars are being driven by driver one by looking at the association between the car and the driver. Um, thank you for, for, for watching this video. I will... Uh, I will uh, I will make sure that I upload the source code to my to my GitHub, and then send uh, share share the comment as a share the link sorry to the source code as a as a comment to 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 the video.